Top Biz. Hi everyone, welcoming you all to the video. I hope you guys are doing great. We all know how oxygen has been a life supporting resource since the advent of humanity. In recent times, many deaths have taken place due to a shortage of oxygen amid COVID-19 pandemic that we all have witnessed. Therefore, amid the second wave of the pandemic, from the government to the businessmen and people involved in the healthcare sector, everyone started supporting oxygen manufacturers and campaigns running by NGOs concerning the same. The increasing demand for oxygen cylinders has opened the door of hope for business enthusiasts. If you want to establish an oxygen manufacturing plant, look for a professional for proper guidance. Now, if you want to go ahead, first of all, the very first step is to understand that what are the licenses to be procured to set up oxygen manufacturing plant. Firstly, you need to obtain an incorporation certificate depending on the size of business operations, financial frameworks and organization hierarchy. Opt for any of the business structures such as private limited company, LLP, public limited company, partnership firm or one person company. And then you should get pollution NOC from State Pollution Control Board. Now if you are done with that, let's have a look at the documents required for availing NOC that are Aadhaar card copy, registration proof of the plant ownership proof of the premises, PAN card of the plant, site plan, other documents and then get a factory license. Get a factory license and also get a fire safety clearance. Now in order to get this, you can visit the State Fire Service Department via an online portal and fill a relevant e-form. Well, it is important to know about the circumstances in which obtaining fire safety clearance becomes compulsory. In case, if the usable areas or all the floors within the industrial building are more than 250 square meters. In case, if the building is used as storage having areas more than 250 square meters on all floors. All hazardous buildings encompass usable areas on all floors more than 100 square meters. Get consent from PESO, that is Petroleum and Explosive Safety Organization. After collecting all the documents, let's have a look at the PESO approval process. The very first step is the application documentation will be prepared. After that, test will be conducted for type permission confined to particular products and then a factory audit will take place. In the fourth step, document verification will come into picture. In the fifth step, the issuance of PESO registration will take place. And the final step is all about the issuance of the registration of the authorized Indian representatives. Now, we also need to keep in mind the paperwork in order to obtain PESO approval. The paperwork for PESO approval varies nationwide. In simple words, Documents to be submitted by the local entity must not be identical in nature to its counterpart situated in foreign locations. When it comes to PESO approval, the paperwork matters a lot. Understanding the commercial as well as technical aspects of the product is essential for successful certification. And now let's have a look and learn about the documents that are required for successful certification. Organizational details. Certificate of Incorporation, Organizational Hierarchy, Plant and Air, PESO Responsible Person, Application Documents, Contract with AIR for 5 years terms, Technical Competence, we need product details like Quality Assurance Registration, ETEX, IX, Certificates, List of Test Instruments, List of Machinery and ISO Certificates. Commercial details include the list of active clients, sales details for previous three years. Documentary proof like client's order copy, the intentive use of machinery, etc. Besides these certifications, there are few requirements for post-incorporation certificates. ISO certification, QMS certification, trademark registration and MSME registration. Now from equipment selection to process automation, approval and business development, our team is right here that will assist you at several levels of setting up an oxygen manufacturing plant. So if you need any help, any queries, any doubts, you can contact us on the given details below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.